guys, it's your girl Hey Paris here and I look crazy. I know this, but let me explain really quick. Today in my household, it is a self-care day. I'm just relaxing. I have my favorite forever mood candle burning right now. It smells amazing in here. Gonna take a bubble bath. You know, just do absolutely nothing and feel really good about it, okay? We all deserve a self-care day. Am I right? Am I right? And you know that no self-care day goes without a really good mask. And if you know me, you already know what mask I'm putting on for today's video. My favorite mask of all time, the only mask that I use on a consistent basis that I always see results with and that I love with all of my heart that you guys thank me for recommending to you guys all the time. It is the one, the only Teamy Detox Mask. If you could just, if you could just focus though, there you go. There you go, the Teamy Detox Mask. This mask is absolutely everything. I just got a new batch I read up, but I used it yesterday. I actually use this mask more than recommended, to be honest with you, because I just, I love the way it feels and how it makes my skin look. But don't tell nobody I said that. Don't tell nobody. But while I put my Teamy Detox mask on my face and I wait for it to dry, I wanna share with you guys some of my unpopular opinions. I don't think I've ever done a video like this before. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be mad at me by the end of this video, but at the end of the day, it's my opinion, you could agree with me, you could not agree with me, but I'm gonna say what I need to say. Just listen with an open heart and open ears and try to understand me from my perspective, you know what I mean? You're allowed to be mad at me because I feel like I am gonna piss some people off. But let me quickly put this mask on first so we can get started. And I'm serious when I say that you guys thank me on the daily for recommending this mask to you because I ain't never lie. When I tell you guys that the results of this mask are instant, like you can literally see a difference. Before I cover my forehead with the mask, let me show you guys something really quick. You see I have like these dark spots and like little tiny bumps on my forehead. By the end of this video, when I wash my face off, you will see that they are a lot less visible. I have super, super, super dry skin, like dangerously dry skin and this is honestly the only mask that helps me get my hydration back it makes my skin look plump makes my skin feel plump all of my dry patches are gone especially on a night out like when I have somewhere to go like I'm about to really beat my face with some makeup this is the perfect mask it gives you a clean clear smooth canvas to work on and I don't know what ingredient works in this mask so well to the point where it's like I'm actually obsessed I have a feeling it's the kaolin clay which I had to google there are so many benefits to to that clay that it makes sense why so many of us are obsessed with this but i am mad at you kale and clay i ain't mad not to mention how this feels it feels so cooling it has a nice like tingling sensation how could you have a self-care day without it i don't i don't understand y'all i don't understand y'all not only that but it smells so amazing feels amazing and it really does work so i'm gonna show you guys a before and after of my skin so you guys know we ain't playing no games around here when i tell you and i recommend you a product it really do be worth Working. And I really do be using it on the daily. So if you're looking for a new mask to add to your skincare routine or you're just trying to clear your skin up from dryness, acne, little bumps, anything like that, or you just want to hydrate your skin, make it more plump, more voluptuous, more smooth, this is the mask for you. I'm going to leave all of the details to the Teamy Detox mask in the description box down below in case you guys want to purchase it along with my coupon code so that you guys can save money as always. Or wait till the end when you see the results on my face and then go run to the website and go purchase it because this is the real deal it's it's the real deal discoloration bumps dryness lack of hydration all that all that all that all of it all of it but while this dries let me share with you some opinions that you probably will not agree with me on okay shoot hold on let me let me wash my fingers off first number one <clears throat> this might make some of y'all mad Mommy, make y'all, put y'all mad, boy. Retired baby mamas. Let me explain to you what a retired baby mama is in my books. A retired baby mama is a woman who talks down on other women who have children but are not married, but they had a child before they were married. Y'all get what I'm saying? I know you know somebody like that. I know you know somebody who just recently got engaged or just recently got married, but they had their child before they got married. And now they're talking down on the women who are not not married like ugh, you really you really let him get you pregnant and he didn't put a ring on it I don't see a ring on your finger though you're not a wife though but you're not a wife but you you can never be me you ever seen a bitch like that before like just calm down 
Please, I beg you. Just because you retired the title of baby mama doesn't mean that you are not once in my predicament. Not me personally, but you get what I'm saying? Other women who you're talking down on's predicament. I don't like that. I don't like you. All you retired baby mamas out there who want to act like you're better than women who have children but aren't married, go to hell. Go straight to hell. Say, tell Satan I said fuck you. Let Satan know I said that. Straight from Paris. Not the city, but the bitch. Let him know. BBL. Let's talk about BBLs. BBLs are just getting way too common nowadays, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's it's feeling like a trend. Am I the only one who feels like that? Am I the only one who feels like if the internet didn't show all of these influencers and all of these superstars with big, voluptuous, fast, don't match hip asses, okay? If the internet didn't show that so much, a lot of these regular women who have regular jobs would not be flying to the Dominican Republic to get fat transferred from their stomach into their ass. That's how I feel. I feel like it's a trend and you know what happens with all trends, they die out. So what you gonna do with all that ass? What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that ass when the trend's done, huh? What What are you going to do with all of that booty jiggling up behind you when the trend is over and dead with, huh? I, I want you to let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you got a BBL, let me know what you gonna do with all that ass. You gonna share? You gonna share some of that ass with me? Cause I'll take some, shoot. Listen, there's nothing wrong with wanting to get a BBL and there's nothing wrong with wanting to change your body and get plastic surgery because A, you're just not happy with the way your body is or maybe you had a child and your body is just not feeling like yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. But let me just say right here, right now, if you decide to get a BBL, don't go and decide to get a BBL because of the next bitch. Because you saw another girl with a big fat jiggly booty and you were like, she's getting so much attention. I want that attention for myself. That is the wrong reason to get fat pumped into your ass. That is the wrong reason. If you gonna get a BBL, get it for the right reasons and be safe. I beg you, do what you wanna do with your body, but be safe and do it for the right reasons. Did you hear me? I don't wanna say it again. Okay. Jealousy. Jealousy just, jealous, jealousy shouldn't be a thing. Am I the only one who feels that way? Jealousy should not even exist. If anything, when you see somebody and you're like, damn, I like her body, for instance, or damn, I like her purse, or damn, she's making money moves, like she got money, she got a nice car, she's dressed nice, like she wear the, the brand new YSL heels, like she's just that, that bitch, like she's just that bitch. You shouldn't be looking, oh, hold up, a little piece of my mask fell off. I'm, I'm opening my mouth too wide. You shouldn't be looking at her like, ugh, she thinks she's all that, she thinks she's a boss, but no, you should be looking at her like hmm what can I do to be more like her jealousy should not be jealousy it should be motivation when you see a girl or a guy that is doing some shit that you wish you could do do whatever it is you need to do to be more like them don't be bitter don't be jealous don't be that type of person you see me when I see somebody and I'm like damn she did that like she walked by me and I'm like you literally made me stop my sentence that I was having with my friend so I could look at you up and down because I'm admiring your beauty. I don't look at her and I'm, I, I'm jealous about it. I'm taking notes. I said, okay, it looked like, mm, it looked like she got an HD frontal on. Is that transparent lace, bitch? I don't know, but shoot. Those are the new, ooh, those are the Alexander McQueens. The pink holographic backs, okay, okay. I like the way she paired that, that shirt with that skirt. I never thought of that. Okay, she, she really did, ooh. Is that a, is that a cut crease with a, okay, with a white liner, white liner cut. Like I'm taking notes, bitch. I'm trying to be popping like you. There's no reason for me to hate you because you're doing what you're supposed to do. Being a hot girl, doing hot girl shit, spending income on your outfit, and you don't text quick because you ain't thirsty. These bitches mad mad. They want to hurt the, the, the bad bitch. I'm so annoying. <laughs> now this one is serious. This is a serious one. If you have a friend, y'all listening, please listen to me. Ears open. <laughs> if you have a friend, and every time that your friend gets into a relationship with a new guy, she doesn't want to chill with you no more. She don't want to talk to you no more. Everything is, oh, no, I'm going to be with my boo. No, me and my boy are deciding to go to Las Vegas next week. Oh, I can't come. My boo and I have dinner tonight. Like, everything is about their man all the time. Cut them off. I said it here, right here, right now. 
cut them off. Because have you noticed that every single friend who is like that, the friend who gets into a relationship and forgets about their friends and they just want to be with their man all day, do you realize that they always get cheated on? Am I the only one who noticed that? You realize that they're always in a new relationship with somebody new every other month? There's a reason for that. Because you don't ever put a man over your friend, a man you just met, might I add. You never put a man that you just met over your friends. Don't do that. That's not cute. You. Because when he cheats on you, or he leaves you, or he does something that makes you want to leave him, who are you coming back to? Us! You coming back to us. I ain't never did that in my life. I've never in my life been with a man and decided, you know what? I ain't got no time for my friends no more. I'm spending all of my time with my man. And that's why he cheated on you because you didn't even give him air to breathe. You didn't even give him time to breathe. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. You didn't give him the time of day to just have some space for himself with his boys. You just wanted to be up inside his asshole every single day and he got annoyed of you too quick. And now you want to come hitch up beside your friend who you didn't have time for last week. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, you know, spend time with your new boo, that's not what I'm saying. But if every single time your friend asks you to hang out, your excuse is you're chilling with your man, you're not a good friend and you deserve to be cut off. And that's that on that. There is no debating it. You hear me? If this, if this struck a nerve with you, you're either that girl and you need to fix yourself and make sure that your friends and your man are both priorities and not one over the other, especially if you've just met that nigga. And if it hit a nerve, that means that you have a friend who has done that to you and I told you what to do. So you can listen to me or you can, I don't even, even want to talk to you if you don't want to listen to me because I'm, I'm speaking facts. Facts, okay? I'm trying to save you. This one, I thought I thought this one was like very self-explanatory, but apparently a lot of y'all don't do this. You need to brush your teeth before you eat your breakfast. Is this news to, to you? You need to brush your teeth before you eat your breakfast. Because I was on Twitter and I tweeted that. I was tweeting like, if you brush your teeth after breakfast, like you dirty, you're nasty, and that's, that's it. Like you're gross. And people were arguing with me like, no, you have to brush your teeth after you eat because why would you brush your teeth just to get more food in it? Um, are you dirty? Are you dirty? You were just sleeping for eight hours. Bacteria and all of that shit is just building up within your mouth, in your gums, on your tongue, and you're gonna go and eat a, eat a bagel? You're having not bagel and cream cheese, but bagel and bacteria for breakfast? You dirty, you little, you little nasty. I don't know about y'all, but I do not want orange juice and bacteria for breakfast. The first thing you do when you wake up is brush your teeth, brush your tongue, brush your gums, brush the inside of your cheeks, please and thank you. And then a lot of people are saying, okay, but you swallow your bacteria while you're sleeping. Okay, and that's involuntary. Like, I, I can't choose to not do that. But what I can choose to do is wake up and brush my teeth so that I don't swallow any more bacteria. And if you look it up, if you, if you, if you Google it, dentists recommend that you brush your teeth before you eat eat your breakfast, so don't be a dirty ass, okay? If that's what you're doing right now, switch it up. Switch up the routine. Brush your teeth first. It's upsetting. It's very upsetting. Nasty. Disgusting. You you, you might add. It's ugh. It's ugh. Now, this one I've said before and I'll say it again. Women, girls, it's unpopular opinion, so I don't expect everyone to agree with me. But when you date someone, why are you dating them specifically for how much money they make? It does not make any sense to me. If you are dating someone or you want to marry someone, it should be because you love them and you want to spend the rest of your life with them. Or else, listen to me, hear me out, you will live in misery for the rest of your life with that person. Let me give you an example, okay? You want a man and he got money, like he is a millionaire, he got money, money, or whatever, right? And because he has money, money, he's paying for your bills, your car, your clothes, shopping, like whatever you want in life, he buys it for you. Sounds amazing to a lot of y'all, I understand, I get it. But then that man cheats on you. What you gonna do? You gonna leave him? How you gonna leave him when you don't have your own money, huh? How you gonna leave him? I should, let me switch it up. You shouldn't date someone for their money when you ain't got no money, when you broke. You shouldn't, that's, that's what I should really, that's what I should really be saying. Because what you gonna do when he cheats on you? You're gonna have to stay. Because if you leave him, you are homeless. Do you feel me? 
make your own money make making your own money be your top priority first and then a relationship next and that relationship should be based on love and love alone i just i just do not agree with a man owning you like you basically sold your soul to him because he owns everything that you have and there's nothing you could do about that it's not cute it's not empowering city girl no like it's not it's not one of those because when you have to live in misery because of money i promise you you'd be much more happy and much more fulfilled in life with someone who makes you happy makes you laugh that you're in love with that you wake up every morning and you're like thank you god for putting this man in my life rather than waking up to a stinky ass ugly ass man who has a million dollars but hey that's just me y'all do what you want to do y'all do what you want to do of course your man needs to have a good job make a reasonable amount of money but along with those two things those shouldn't be the only two things that you're looking for in a partner good job a reasonable amount of money supportive loving loyal handsome funny your best friend there's so many other things that should go into your requirements when it comes to having a partner but that's my unpopular opinion a lot of y'all not gonna agree with me and that's fine do what you do but don't come running to me asking me for advice because a lot of y'all do be coming in my dms talking about paris my man buys me everything and he also cheated on me and i don't know what to do because i can't leave him because I'm gonna be homeless. I won't even have a car to live in. You watch this video, you know how I feel. Okay. Now this one kind of ties in with the first unpopular opinion that I already mentioned, and that's getting married because you have a baby. Listen, okay, I have to break this down so y'all really understand what I'm saying, and you guys don't think that I'm trying to like judge people who get pregnant before they get married. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that you get pregnant and then later on in life you decide to get married. That I don't see nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But where where I look at people sideways is when it's like. I found out you're pregnant and immediately after you're like well I have to get married and that's usually for religious purposes usually the woman or the man is like we have to get married before the baby comes into this world because it is a sin newsflash premarital sex is a sin you already did that act you already had sexual intercourse which created the baby and the sin is actually doing that you're supposed to be celibate until marriage so get Getting married before the baby comes does not take away the act of sex before marriage. Therefore, it does not make sense. You sinned regardless. So at that point, you're really just getting married to not look bad, which I don't think there's anything wrong with being pregnant and not being married. You don't want to look bad in front of your family or other people, which is not a good reason to get married. In my opinion, I feel like the only reason you should get married is because you love someone and you want to spend the rest of your life life with that person a lot of people feel like having a baby will fix relationships will keep a man will make a man change his ways and that is not true if anything it's the opposite so i just feel like getting married because you're pregnant eh. In my opinion is no but if you are pregnant and you're not married that's life things happen whatever if you get pregnant and two years later your child is now two years old you get married again not a problem you and your partner have decided you know what we have our baby me and you good we're best friends we love each other let's get married I fucks with that I fucks with the family function but normally not in all cases but normally when a woman is pregnant and gets married immediately after she finds out that she's pregnant first of all the wedding is rushed the marriage is rushed and both parties are not even sure of each other which kind Kind of just equals this is not gonna work because we didn't have a choice we were kind of forced to do this and i guess what i'm trying to say is don't let anyone force you to get married just because you have a baby you could be an amazing mom an amazing father you could still be a family without having to take that huge step of getting married when you're a not ready to think to yourself that's just not my person we just have a baby or whatever other reasons there may be that's just how i feel like i've heard of stories where people get married inside of the hospital when the woman's water breaks on the hospital bed that to me is very wild that is a very 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 wild situation but to each their own this is just my unpopular opinion i don't expect everyone to agree with me okay and i don't want to offend anyone if you got married while you were pregnant or before you gave birth do you you know your situation
situation. You know why you did what you did. I just hope you're happy and that's honestly how I feel. If you are happy, I'm happy for you. But there are a lot of people who make that decision and both or one or the other party is just not actually happy and I don't like that for nobody. I want everyone to be genuinely happy. Micro influencers influence the big influencers. You cannot tell me any different. Micro influencers who have like 5,000 followers, 10,000 followers, 2,000 followers, but they killing shit like their Instagram page is popping, their outfits are popping, their makeup is popping. I promise you, all you micro influencers out there, you are influencing the big, big, big influencers who you think don't even know who you are. In your head, you're like, oh my God, I love so-and-so, like she's my inspiration. Bitch, you're her inspiration. Don't get it twisted. You are her inspiration. She's low-key on your page. She, she, she might not follow you, but she's on your page and she's taking notes. Keep that in mind, okay? Because I, I peep shit. I peep shit. I'm telling you. Whether it be makeup, clothing, the way you post your captions, the products that you promote, whatever it is, you are influencing the influencers. Don't make anyone ever make you feel like you are not worth what you think you are worth. You're worth that plus tax. I promise you. And a lot of companies nowadays are going and gravitating towards micro influencers because they know your value. They know that although you have a small amount of audience, you bring a lot to the table and you bring quality content. So keep that shit up. Keep it up and do not quit. If you're watching this and you're a micro influencer and you're like, oh, I want to quit. Bitch, don't. Don't. You are the next. Jackie Ina, you are the next Aaliyah J. You are the next Nikki Tutorials. You are the next whoever you look up to. Do not make anyone tell you any different, okay? Birkin bags are ugly. Birkin bags are ugly. I don't know who needed to say it, but Birkin bags are ugly. They look like they're from Aldo. They look like they're from Aldo. $30,000 for an Aldo bag? I beg to differ. I truly beg to differ. I don't know why these celebrities think it's a flex to spend $30,000 on an ugly ass bag. But if I was a billionaire, I would not buy one. It is a status thing. It is a way to be like, bitch, I have money. It's like, yeah, Cardi B, we know you got money. Like, you're Cardi B. You're rich. We know this. What, what, are, you, what are you talking? Yes, yeah, sweetie. So, sweetie, we know you have money. But $30,000 on a bag that looks like that? Birkin bags are ugly. They're B. I don't like them. I would never buy one no matter how much money I have or I'm making. No. This bag right here is from Teddy Blake. It is from Teddy Blake. And it is high quality. And guess what? It is not $30,000. Oh, snap. Look at this. I didn't even know. Came with a strap. Came with a strap. It's high quality. It's cute. And it's not $30,000. But I bet you a Birkin is constructed the same exact way. Like, no. Y'all need to do better. Invest in something. $30,000 could have bought you a property or something. A landmark, bitch. A restaurant. A nail Something. I don't care how much money you making. Birkin bags are ugly. They look like they're from Zara. Same thing with Richard Millie's. Richard Millie watches. They're, they look like they're made out of plastic. Are you... Is everyone okay? Are these celebrities all right? I think we need to check up on them. Like... Seriously, I'm concerned. She in. People were dragging me through the mud on TikTok because I said I don't like the quality of Shein clothing. I've worked with Shein one time and it was one time only. I tried their clothes on and I was like, okay, it's cute like for the price, like it's cheap, it's cute for the price. I put them bitches in the, in the wash. I put them bitches in the wash and I could only wear them that one time during the, the try on video. All the strings and all the hems and all the sewings were just all over the place. I said, bitch, let me delete this video. Let me delete the whole damn video because this don't make no damn sense. This don't make no damn sense. Shein.com is, is a mess. It's a mess. It's fast fashion. It's cheap. It's It looks good. Like the clothing, the quality of the clothing does not look bad. It does not look bad until you wash it. Then it's just threads. I literally use some of my Shein clothes that I put in the wash. I use it to wipe up my washroom floor when I'm cleaning the wash. I'm not kidding. Don't do it. I mean, if you want to do it, do it. But I personally will not do it. No. I've been more of a quality over quantity girl like I've cleaned out my closet and everything I own now all of my clothes is clothing that can last me a lifetime for real like you would think that this this top is just like a regular wife beater bitch this is skims you feel me this is a skims top it's stretchy it feels good it's soft the quality it just feels nice it just it just feels 
it just feels nice, okay? And then my pants I got on, these are just some regular sweatpants, but they're from Bow and T. And let me tell you, they're hella comfy too. And these are just my in the house clothes. But I bet you I won't have to buy any more in the house clothes for another four years or so. Okay, my mask is drying. Let me let me wrap this up really quick. This one might shock y'all, but I don't like Starbucks. I, I, I'm giving Starbucks a try, a chance, an opportunity multiple times. I don't like it. There's nothing on the menu that is up to my standards. And it's weird because I will eat a, a mango slush from McDonald's before I buy a drink from Starbucks. Starbucks is disgusting. And not to mention, I've been so turned off by Starbucks because of the videos I see on TikTok of these little kids, like their employees there, but they're like playing with drinks and like making drinks and everything just looks dirty. I'm like, I'm good. Like I'll take, I'll take I'll take, a, I'll take a peppermint tea from McDonald's, thank you very much. Or Tim Hortons. But Starbucks is like, that's my last, my last resort. I don't know how y'all do it. I think, I really think that y'all be doing it for the aesthetic. The aesthetics, I do. I think y'all just think you look cute holding your little Starbucks cup. Cause it's really not that good. Can we be honest? It's really not that good. <laughs> Eh. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna wash this off of my face. It is ready to come off. A little dry needs to be done here, but it'll be dried in a couple of minutes, so we good. But let me wash this off and show you guys how spanking clean and smooth and what this mask does for my skin. And I bet y'all gonna go run to get one as well because it's everything. Be right back. I'm gonna take a whole shower, actually. It's my self-care day, so I'm gonna take a little bubble bath, a little shower after. That's another unpopular opinion. If you're gonna take a bubble bath, if you're gonna take a bubble bath, you need to wash your body off after. Thank you very much. If it, either or, you need to take a shower first and then take a bubble bath, and even then, you take a shower again. But once you get in a bubble bath, you cannot get in a bubble bath and rinse yourself off and go to bed or continue on your day. No, you need to wash that sud off of you because you are soaking in your own bath water. That's disgusting. You're walking around sweating all day, dirt all over you, dirt on your feet, in between your toenails and shit, and you're just soaking in there and then you're gonna get up and put your towel on you and continue on with your day? No. You soaked in the tub for re relaxation. You know you got your bath salts in there or whatever you add into your, your bath. And after that, you go in the shower and you take a real shower after to clean your body off because a bath is not going to clean you off. It's just, it's human soup. You're just, you're just cooking in there. Please, wash your ass. Ugh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so... Zun, as you can see, let's go into the forehead. It's looking clear, it's flatter, as always. I absolutely love the teeny mask, and I don't think I ever told you guys about this, but this is the moisturizer. If you would just, thank you. This is the moisturizer that I always use. It's from Teamy as well. It's called the Glow Tea Infused Oil. And I just use a little bit of that on my cheeks because honestly, lotion and my face just do not mix. I need an oil on my face because that's how dry my skin is but my entire skincare routine is from Timmy and I am not upset about it now my face is all hydrated and it's not sticky or anything like that but regardless we're, we're sticking on the topic of the mask the mask did what it was supposed to do we are not at all surprised because it has never once disappointed us but anyways if you want to grab a teamy detox mask everything is in the description box down below you can use my code hey20 for money off of your purchase so you don't have to pay the full price you know what i mean but the link is in the description box down below <clears throat> definitely pick up a mask for yourself you will not regret it um also, leave a comment down below and let me know your unpopular opinions. Did you agree with anything that I said? A lot of y'all gonna disagree with a lot of things I said. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below as well. I love doing these self-care type videos. Let me know if you guys enjoy them as well. Um, yeah. Look at the skin. Look at the skin. Look at the skin. Look at the skin. There's, there's no makeup on. I'm not wearing no makeup. Do you, do you hear what I'm saying? Do you understand me? No? Yes? No? Yeah? Huh? I also threaded my eyebrows really quick, but anywho, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Those are in the description box down below for your convenience. And again, I want to hear your unpopular opinion, so let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye guys. <laughs>